If you're a graphic artist creating scalable designs and you don't want any of that nasty pixelation when resizing, Adobe Illustrator is the industry standard for creating vector graphics that never lose their quality when scaled up or down. Whether you pay by the month or yearly, the cost to use Illustrator can be quite expensive. Thankfully, there are free alternatives with most of the features you would ever need. So coming up, I'll count down the top five free programs to create and edit vector graphics for any size project. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown at number five is Gravit Designer. This program is similar to Illustrator, yet more user-friendly with many of the same tools. It's feature-packed. It lets you create custom shapes with smart controls, their freehand tool lets you draw with automatic smoothing. There's a pen tool and also includes non-destructive editing of your images. Numerous vector and raster file types are supported. You can import Illustrator AI files, SVG, and sketch files. You can also export your projects as an SVG, PNG, PDF, or JPEG file type. It has a modern looking layout with the primary tools at the top. Along the left is where you'll find the individual layers for your project. Gravit Designer uses the freemium model, otherwise it would be higher in our list. While the free version does offer most of the features most people would ever need, the pro plan lets you work offline, includes better quality export options, and unlimited cloud storage. You can use Gravit Designer online in your favorite web browser, and it's also available for download on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Chrome OS. Coming in at number four is LibreOffice Draw. This free and open source vector graphics editor is not a standalone program. It's one of the programs included with the LibreOffice Office Suite. While it does not support layers, it does let you produce just about anything using graphics and diagrams to create technical drawings, brochures, posters, and a whole lot more. The file types supported include SVG, PSD, and the CorelDRAW CDR file format. The interface is fairly straightforward and simplified for novice users. Just like the other programs mentioned in this video, tutorials can be found on YouTube and across the web to learn how to use it. LibreOffice Draw gets extra points from us over the number five pick because it's 100% completely free with no restrictions. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. If you're looking for free vector art to edit, Vecteezy with over a million vectors in their database is a fantastic resource for both personal and commercial use. This brings us to our number three pick, which is Vecteezy Editor. While still in beta, this in-browser vector graphics editor is one of the best you can use cost-free with no hidden paywalls. You can create your own designs from scratch or import and edit SVG files that you have on your computer. It's amazingly easy to use and well-suited for beginners. You might even discover that it's so simple to use that you won't need to watch any tutorials. The user face is intuitive, You'll find every tool available located in the left pane. Vecteezy, as I mentioned earlier, is browser-based, but does not have support for every browser. Currently, they have support for Chrome, Chromium, and Opera. And I can also confirm it works great in the new Chromium-based Microsoft Edge with no issues. Before we get to the top two picks, here are three honorable mentions for you to check out. They're not free. Instead of requiring you to commit to an expensive subscription plan, these are available for a simple one-time fee. Available for Windows and Mac, CorelDRAW is one many of you are familiar with. It launched way back in 1989 and has a very loyal following. It includes all the tools you would need to create professional graphics and lets you easily import and export Adobe Illustrator AI files. They offer various products, for the more casual users, I'd recommend Corel Draw Standard, which is $299. And for design professionals, the Corel Draw Graphics Suite is a one-time fee of $499, both of which offer a 15-day trial to try it out. Sketch is a vector graphics editor developed for macOS only, featuring a user-friendly interface. It's not recommended for complex illustrations, but it's great for those of you interested in digital design. They offer a 30-day free trial, after which there's a one-time payment of $99 with one year of free updates. Once the year is up, you can still use Sketch, but you'll no longer receive updates unless you renew the license. Gaining in popularity over the last few years is Affinity Designer. 
Developed in the UK for professional designers, this may be the best program for you if you're looking for an interface that is similar to Illustrator with a much lower price point. It's fully featured to create complex designs and even includes tools Illustrator does not have including the ability to quickly switch between vector and raster workspaces to give you more flexibility with your choices. For Windows and Mac OS, the one-time cost is around $50, and for the iPad, it's just $19.99. Let's head back to the countdown. Taking the runner-up spot, Vector is the second best free Illustrator alternative. It's completely free and available online in your favorite web browser. It's easy to use without a massive learning curve, your projects can be saved online, or you can export it to your computer in SVG, JPEG, or PNG file formats. The user layout is not too complicated. You'll find pages and layers on the left. To the right of layers is your toolbar, and in the right pane are additional settings to fine-tune your creation. If you need help getting started, on the Vector website there are dozens of tutorials that will teach you how to use it. In the top spot, coming in at number one, is Inkscape. This open source vector editor has a huge tool set for graphic and web designers. It's so feature packed, it can do just about everything that Illustrator can, and best of all, it's completely free. There are tools for object creation and manipulation, various filters including overlays, textures, and bevels, and it's perfectly compliant with the SVG file format, including support for PDF, EPS, CDR, and the AI Adobe Illustrator file types. The primary tools are located along the left, with additional tools on the right, and there's a color palette along the bottom of the window. For first-time users, Inkscape can be intimidating. Thankfully, on their website, they have tutorials that will help you to get started. Inkscape is available on desktop for the three major operating systems, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Thank you for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If you know of another Illustrator alternative not mentioned, let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with our newest top fives and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.